Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to share everything real quick so hopefully we can actually get some people on here. So let me go ahead and share. So if you come on here and you can like like and share, comment, let me know that you're here just so I know. And then we can kind of get into the beauty favorites. So I am having to do this on my phone. I couldn't get this to work on my computer for whatever reason. Hi Susie, thank you. <laughs> so I couldn't get this to work on my computer so I'm having to use my phone. Hopefully it's working. I can see one comment so I think I think we're good. But let me go ahead and I'm going to share this real quick. Make sure you comment, say hi, share so I can know that y'all are here. And then, okay. Ah, shared it. <laughs> okay. I'm so nervous, you guys. Hi, Alexis. Okay, so I figured I would go ahead and start with, you know, the base of my face and kind of just like work my way up. This is really weird talking to my phone right now. Hi, Sarah. Thank you. Okay, so starting with the base of my face. Oh, real quick. <laughs> I'm doing the 2017 Best of Beauty, but I'm doing it live because I thought that'd be more fun. So I'm going to say hi to you guys. Hi, Eileen. So with the base of my face first, everything I use for like primer and everything, I have one. <laughs> I'm proud to say that. And it's from Cover Effects. I use it in every single video pretty much. So if you've seen any of my videos, you know it's going to be the Cover FX. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so it's the Cover FX Mattifying Anti-Acne Primer. So it has salicylic acid in it. So if you do have more like combination, even to oily skin, and if you have acne prone skin, this is freaking amazing. It has saved my life, saved my skin. It doesn't clog your pores or anything like that. So that's amazing. Hi, Tiffany. Okay, so primer is easy. That's already out of the way because, hello. I have one, that's my favorite. So now on to, oh, I'm getting up close and personal. <laughs> on to um, foundations. I have two. So I have L'Oreal Pro Matte and L'Oreal Pro Glow. I have been loving these together. Both of mine are in the classic ivory shade, although this one is like 101 and this one is 102. But I also have another favorite that I love to mix. So the Revlon Insta Filter Foundation. I did a review on this. It is on um, my channel as well. But this is an amazing, amazing foundation. It's one of my favorites. I love to mix it. It's just, it's that good to where it's just like, I don't like it on its own. To be honest, it has like a weird finish. But if I mix it with the L'Oreal Pro Matte, it is absolutely freaking fantastic. It's amazing. And then I have two more. <laughs> I lied, I don't have two. Hi, Rebecca. Okay, so Revlon Color Stay is one of my go-tos. I love mixing it with the L'Oreal Pro Matte. So these two together are like a dream for combination oily skin. They are just so, so, so good. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know your favorites. I'd love to know. And then um, I have the e.l.f. Anti-Acne Foundation as well. It doesn't have a shade or anything on it. Oh, yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> it's in porcelain, but this is the lightest shade, you guys, and I can only wear it when I have my self-tan, which is insane. It is super, super dark, but it is so, so good. Also, don't mind my color right now. I'm doing... <laughs> A first impression on the 24 hour Maybelline foundation and it was not my color so we're just gonna you know pretend that that matches okay but anyways this one is so 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 good if you have again acne prone skin or if you have oily skin this one is freaking amazing it is so good concealer <laughs> okay so for concealer Tarte Shape Tape is my go-to I will not change this I've tried so many other concealers the LA Girl Pro is really good for like a cheaper version but the Tarte Shape Tape and I have mine in fair beige it is my absolute favorite it is so so good it's just like the best coverage it lasts all day it really like helps just make your under eyes look beautiful and it doesn't crease on me throughout the day I still set everything with a powder but the Tarte Shape Tape is just like, you know, it's just the best one. Now on to powders. I have a few. So for this one, it is the Laurier. Laurier. Oh my goodness. The Laurier. <laughs> I can't talk. The Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This one is beyond amazing. I love, love, love this powder. It's just so good. And oh my God, it makes your skin look gorgeous. But I will say, ever since the Patrick Star Powder came out with MAC, this is all I have been using. This stuff is like a miracle in a jar. I don't know what they did or how they did it. Thank you. 
I know, I'm so excited. I was so nervous though. I was like, oh, I sat here for like 10 minutes and I was like, oh, do I wanna do this live? I don't know. <laughs> I got too nervous too, but we're here, we're doing it, it's all good. So the Patrick Star Powder has been a life changer. I have it on today, although I am doing a foundation review and I'm not too happy about it today. <laughs> but that powder is absolutely amazing. It covers every imperfection, every pore. It makes you just look like you have a filter over your face because it is that gorgeous. I am obsessed with it. Now this one is messy because I dropped it, of course, trying to get ready for this, but that's okay. It's the Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> hey. So this is the Fit Me Powder. This one is also really, really good. It's, I mean, it's freaking amazing. It's from the drugstore. It's cheaper and it's just, it works really, really well. Again, it does it. I mean, I set my entire face. So I have a lighter one and then I have um, for like the center of my face or my T-zone and then I have a dark one for like the perimeter of my face or like the outside and it just it works so good again it's like a really good smoothing powder it just lasts throughout the day and it's just oh, it's so good okay what's next <laughs> oh okay contour so if y'all have seen any of my videos you know as well that this okay this ring needs to go ow okay <laughs> Anyways, the Tarte Dazzle Palette for contour is the best I have think I've ever tried. I absolutely love it, obviously. <laughs> I ordered another one from Tarte when they had that sale because it was on sale for like $11 or $12. It was freaking amazing. But this contour is the best. I have it on today, every single day, all day. <laughs> I don't think I've used anything different in such a long time because it's just that good. It lasts so long. It's not like muddy or weird looking. And it's just... Oh, such a good powder and especially if you're contour for like fair skin it's hard to find a color that lasts or not lasts that just looks like correct on your skin so that one's a good one for bronzer it is the benefit hula obviously this is a loved one as well i actually have a backup down there because this is the best bronzer ever again i have it on today i wear it every single day it's just so good it's not like a funky color it's like the perfect just bronzer and I love that it's not like patchy or weird or muddy. It just, <laughs> it just works so good and I absolutely love it. I won't use anything else because it's that good. I will say the Makeup Geek, and I don't know where that one is at because I have a mess in front of me, not gonna lie. But the Makeup Geek bronzers as well, I just started falling in love with them because they made me nervous before because I tried one, it was the wrong color. Long story short, I didn't like it. But I got another one that was actually like my correct shade and it was freaking beautiful but I don't know where that is at the moment <laughs> okay on to blush hands down it has to go to Tarte the Amazonian clay blushes are absolutely amazing this one oh my goodness this one is oh, they don't have the names on the back oh, I think it's concept or something like that I don't know but this one is absolutely gorgeous it's obviously loved these four right here are kind of like my go to i honestly don't use a bunch of like these three right here i got that one that tart circle of blushes a while back and that's what these four are from but these four right here are pretty much the ones that i use and always always go to Ooh, i haven't tried that the l'oreal glam bronze i don't think i've tried that yet i might need to um but the amazonian clay blushes are just absolutely perfection they last such a long time they blend so pretty and they're so freaking pigmented like they're absolutely insane like they are so pretty but um ugh, i just i can't say it. I can't say enough good things about the tarte blushes this is really hard doing it live i'm so nervous i'm like stuttering <laughs> this is not good okay now on to highlight i have ugh, i have way too many highlights of course so starting off with drugstore i think i only have two Ooh. But the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip, this is freaking amazing. The packaging is eh, but it is like insane. I already, oh my gosh. I was doing foundation swatches earlier. That's not pretty. But look at that highlight. It is so, so gorgeous. If you can find this, get your hands on it, do it because it is so, so pretty. And you can seriously, I mean, there's so many options. I also use this for my eyes all the freaking time because it's that pretty. But these are just gorgeous. And I just, I can't get over this highlight. They're so so pretty next one if y'all follow me anywhere <laughs> youtube instagram even snapchat this one is just oh shit i'm dropping everything oh, 
This is the Flower Beauty Highlight Palette. It's actually the strobing palette, but you know, this shade right here is perfection. It is absolutely gorgeous and is what I have on every single day. But look at that. Oh, it's so just reflective and really, really pretty. And it's not like powdery or weird either. It is just gorgeous. I can't say enough good things about this. If you can get your hands on it, do it because it's been sold out forever. I actually bought two more backups because I broke my first one. But this Flower Beauty Highlight Palette is hands down my absolute favorite. It is so freaking gorgeous. It's just, it's that good, okay? <laughs> Next on to, I'm gonna do liquid highlights real quick because I have two of them. So first one is gonna be the High Beam from Benefit. This one is so cute, but it's also freaking gorgeous. It is a little bit more on the pink side, not gonna lie, but it is so reflective and so gorgeous. I do use this with a beauty blender. I don't like it, like, with a brush or anything like that. I only use it with a beauty blender and it is just so freaking gorgeous. I can't say enough good things about it. It doesn't like make you look textured or weird and it's just oh, it's so pretty, so pretty. So this next one is from Anastasia. It's the Liquid Glow. I have mine in Perla. It's the lightest one. Now this one I will say, it is thicker. So I actually like to mix it. If you've seen a few of my tutorials, you know that I like to mix it with the Farsali Unicorn Essence Drops essence <laughs> drops because it is it's a little on the thicker side i'll just swatch it i'm not gonna mix it with the drops but it is the most gorgeous champagne -y gold ever yay new subscriber hello hi cast oh yay okay i hope i'm not boring you guys because i don't know where i'm going with this i'm really nervous because it's my first live ever so <laughs> bear with me <laughs> But the liquid glow is just gorgeous. And when you mix it with the first solid drops, it makes it a little bit thinner and a little bit lighter. But it's like the most gorgeous champagne-y kind of gold highlight. And I love Anastasia liquid highlights because they last so freaking long. I do put um, a powder highlight on top of it. Yay! I always tell everybody, if you want to start a channel, please do it because, oh my gosh, it is the funnest thing I think I've ever started. I'm so glad I did. I contemplated for such a long time if I was like, should I, should I not, should I, should I not? But it's been amazing so far. So if you're wanting to start a channel, please do it. <laughs> Next on to highlights is going to be Ofra. This one is the Everglow highlighter, but it's this shade. I just want this one right here. I think it's Glazed Donut is like how she came out with it. But, oh my goodness. Ofra has probably the most intense, reflective, just gorgeous highlights ever. And oh my gosh, like look at that. It is insane. I can't tell you how much I love this highlighter. I will say they are pricey. They're like 30 something dollars, I think. They're a little bit on the pricier side, but that's okay because it's gorgeous. It's worth it, I promise. Next one is going to be Artist Couture. This is in Illuminati. This is from Mac Daddy or Angel on YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. He's hilarious and so freaking, he's just gorgeous. He's a gorgeous man, okay? <laughs> so this is Illuminati. This one is a loose highlighting palette, palette powder. I did do a tutorial on this today, so it'll be up sometime next week, probably Thursday, I think. So yeah, there'll be a tutorial on this look, I promise. <laughs> so the Illuminati is a powder highlight, so it's not as intense when you swatch it, but when you put it on your face, it is the most reflective, gorgeous highlight ever. It is a little bit more on the glittery side. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. But it is a little bit more on, the, like I said, the glittery side. But it is just absolutely gorgeous. And I am obsessed with it. I love, love, love this highlight. But the best loose powder highlight I think I've ever tried is going to be the Makeup Forever. This is number 13. And oh my goodness. Of course, it's one of those Jaclyn Hill made me buy it. Look how pretty that is. Tart blushes are so worth it. So, so good. Where can I swatch this? I'm running out of places already. <laughs> but look at that. It is freaking gorgeous. If you are more fair, or you can also mix it in with some of their other darker colors as well. It is just, it's so, so pretty. It doesn't look glittery on the face. It just looks like an insane sheen. I don't know how to explain it. It's not glittery, but it is like a powder highlight. Like, I don't know. It's just, oh. mm. Mm -hmm. it's so pretty. <laughs> Highlights make me excited, okay. What's next? Brows? I think we should go to brows. Okay, for brows, I have to say, 
Yes, when they did their sale, I picked up another of the Dazzle Contour Palettes because it is the best thing of life. I don't know if they're still on sale or not. If they are, get it. It is so good. So on to brows. I have been using something new and it's the Benefit Bravo Conditioning Primer. I use this every single night and morning. It is so cool. So it's actually like a little twist up thing. I don't want to waste the product. <laughs> but you twist it up and it's like this little gel and you just brush it through. Yay, you'll love it. Oh my gosh. Hi, Barbara. Thank you. You're so sweet. Okay, so this is the best thing I think I've ever tried. I've been using it for, where's your, oh, this is actually the Benefit hoodie. They, um, they actually were sent out in PR, but then I actually bought it on their website when they had it for a little bit. They've been sold out forever, but I hope they bring it back because it is the most comfortable hoodie ever. And on the back, it says no basic brows. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. So if it ever goes back on like back in stock, I'll definitely like, tweet the link or put it on Snapchat or something because it is so soft and so cute. Yeah, it's, so it's from Benefit. Um, back to this. <laughs> so I've been using it every morning and night, and this is just like a little gel. You can kind of see a little bit left on there, but you just brush it through your brows. And I swear, I don't think it's just like, you know, me thinking things, but I swear my brows are already like longer and already like more thick. Like I never used to have this much hair because when I was younger, I literally took a razor and just went, mm. yeah, it's hard for me to admit that. <laughs> but I did, I just took a razor and went like straight down and I haven't had hair grow like on the inner part of my brow in forever and they actually are starting to like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And I really, really think it's because of this stuff right here from Benefit. So really excited about that stuff. But what I fill in my brows with is the Benefit Cabral and I have mine in shade number three. This is so cool. I honestly do use this brush because it's so super paper, paper thin and actually like allows you to get the lines like hair like strokes. And I need to get a new one because this one's getting pretty low. <laughs> but this is what the pomade looks like. It's almost like the Anastasia pomade, but it's a little bit, not more dry, but just a little bit more stiff than that one. And I think that's why I like it a little bit better than the Anastasia one. I always, always used to use the dip brow and that one is like my... I mean forever favorite but I've been using this for a while now and it is like really growing on me and I love the fact that the little brush comes with it because this is probably the best brush ever yeah it's just it's easier to work with and it's just like I think it's I think it is because it's a little bit stiffer of a formula I just feel like it's I don't know I just like that one just a little bit better <laughs> but I will say the best brow gel ever is going to be the clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the only one that I will use because it is just that good I absolutely love it it is my favorite thing of life it does kind of get gross because it's not clear anymore after you kind of brush through your brows a few times but it is just so so good it keeps your hairs where you want them without getting like crusty and weird or like goopy I don't know how to explain it like the Gimme Brow doesn't dry to me. I don't know why, like I love the Gimme Brow. Like I love that it fills in your brows as well at the same time, but it just, I don't know. This one is just, it's a little bit better. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, eyeshadow palettes. So I have too many to talk about, but I have to say, let's go through, let's, okay, let's start with this one. This one is from ColourPop. It's the Cute AF palette. ColourPop is so affordable and their products are so so good but this is the cutest little eyeshadow palette ever i will say i was expecting these to be a little bit bigger they are a little bit smaller than like your typical like makeup geek eyeshadow or something like that but they like this palette is so so good it is just gorgeous i have so many looks using this palette on my channel and on my instagram but i just i love this palette i haven't put it down in forever because it's that good and ColourPop is so cheap honestly it's a win-win <laughs> Now my everyday kind of palette, this is the palette that I use every single morning, pretty much. It, ooh. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. So, oh wait, no. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I was like, wait, I don't remember the dark ones being over here, but that's because it's backwards. Okay, so the Tartlet in Bloom, this is the palette. I pretty much use these four shades right here. As you can tell, they're well loved pretty much every single day of my life. And then I'll just throw my Flower Beauty Highlight palette on like my inner corner and my brow bone. But this palette is just so freaking good. I, it smells good too. It smells like vanilla. <laughs> but I love how just pigmented they are and soft and buttery and just blendable. This palette is just so freaking gorgeous. And I love their packaging on pretty much everything that they do. It's just gorgeous. 
I'm trying not to like talk too much about the palettes because I have so many I need to go through, okay? <laughs> this next one is super embarrassing and dirty because it just sits on my vanity. But this is the Just Peachy, yeah, Just Peachy Mattes from Too Faced. This palette, I think the one tutorial I did with like the Halo Eye was like the most requested or like most like loved video on my channel, but it's just such a pretty palette. I love all of these mattes. They're all matte, but these mattes are just gorgeous. They're really crazy pigmented. They're soft, but they also blend out at the same time, even though you have some like crazy palettes. I will do more looks with it because I did like a smoky eye using this palette and I fell in love with it. So I really need to film that because it actually turned out so, so pretty. So I probably will do that soon, but this, oh my God, I just, I can't say enough good things about this palette. It is just, it's good. Okay, this next one is from Nicole Concilio and Violet Voss. So this palette is definitely a favorite of mine from 2017 because it is just gorgeous. I can't tell you, I did like so many cut creases and just smoky eye tutorials with this palette because it's just, it's perfect. It has all of your warm colors, some neutrals, just some pops of colors, shimmers and everything like that. It's just, it's so, so pretty. Let me know if you have this palette because it is so good. I think... They sold out, but now they're, I heard her say that they were on sale again, so I don't know where or what's happened with that. <laughs> but this palette is so, so stunning. I love it. It's crazy pigmented, but still blends good at the same time. And I love Nicole Concilio too. She's just hilarious. Ooh, I'm gonna drop it. Ah! Okay, this next one, y'all know, I just did my giveaway with it because this palette is freaking perfection. Although I did drop mine when I was cleaning earlier and I lost my green shade right here. Made me cry a little bit. <laughs> this is a BH Cosmetics Pro Artistry palette. Oh, you can still see some of the shadow. Oh. Anyways, this is the, thank you, Barbara. So this is just the BH Cosmetics Pro Artistry palette. And I did it in a giveaway because it is that freaking good. It is just perfect. It's so crazy pigmented. And I think it's like $16. It is the, it is so cheap. BH Cosmetics is really underrated, I feel like, and not talked about enough because these shadows are absolutely insane. This one right here ooh, is one of my favorite shadows ever. It's just, it's so crazy pigmented, so affordable, but so good and like really high quality at the same time because you get, I think it was 40 something shadows, 42, right? Shit. Yeah, 42 eyeshadows and it's only, it was like $16. It is so, so good. And then the last palette I want to talk about is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I know people gave this a lot of crap at the beginning, but this palette is freaking amazing. I have, obviously it's loved, okay? <laughs> it's a little messy, but it is so, so gorgeous. All the colors in here are freaking amazing, fantastic, really crazy pigmented, but still blend really good at the same time. This is probably one of my favorite Morphe eyeshadow palettes because I do feel like, I mean, I feel like the shadows are pretty much the same in general but i don't know why it's just it's just it's good okay if you don't have it try it test it it's at ulta now you can get like all their discounts and stuff probably even more when you do the 20 percent off if they have a sale but it is definitely worth it i have people ask me all the time if it's actually worth the money worth the hype and i think it honestly is i use it all the time it is just that good so i'm not going to talk about one lash and i have them on right now these are the ones i wear all the time because they're intoxicating from flutter lashes i don't have a little package but they are from flutter lashes and they are just so freaking gorgeous they're my favorites i wear them pretty much all the time anytime i want to do a more like dramatic look or actually like really get ready those are the lashes that i wear so i just wanted to mention those because they're just they're so good <laughs> okay what's next oh shit i forgot setting sprays <laughs> So I have three, okay, that's a little excessive, but I will say this is my favorite of all time. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter. This one is just, it's just that perfect setting spray and it feels so good when you spray it on, but it also just helps with all the powders and everything on your face just to kind of settle and like really like just, you know, just be happy and not look powder anymore. It's just, it's so, so good. I don't really notice it helping like with my makeup lasting longer. I feel like that's what powder does. But this next one is from Cover FX, and I thought I was going to hate this. I honestly did. I thought I was going to hate it because it is like a little glittery. I'll spray it on my hand. It's not like glittery, but it has like a nice sheen to it. So this is the Illuminating Setting Spray, but look at the mister. Like it is insane. 
such a beautiful setting spray and it does just give you like this nice pretty like glow to your skin i use it today and it is just oh, it's one of my favorites it's just so so good i thought i was gonna hate it but i didn't <laughs> this next one is from morphe now this one honestly i don't really use as like my setting spray after i'm finished with my makeup that's what i use the urban decay for this one i will do after i finish like the base of my face and all my powders and all that kind of stuff and setting it so i use this just to kind of help the powders kind of just you know be done like not look as powdery Ooh, i haven't tried that I might need to hmm okay now this one I just mainly I really just like this one because it's a continuous sprayer and this mist is like freaking amazing oh so good <coughs> don't choke on it but that setting spray does have a scent to it so if you don't like it's not a bad scent it just has like a fresh kind of like I don't know how to explain it. It does have a scent though, more than any other setting spray that I've used. But like I said, I just like that one for right after I do the base, before I do my brows and eyeshadow and all that kind of stuff. Hairspray? What do you mean? Like the setting sprays? I've never had them break me out or anything like that. But I don't put like hairspray on my face. If that's what you're saying <laughs> okay on to glosses I have two. Oh, okay yeah I've never used hairspray as a setting spray no I haven't <laughs> so I have two glosses and they are both collabs but this is the dose of colors Desi X Katie with um, dose of colors <laughs> duh but this is their gloss over the top it is so so gorgeous i'm already like halfway done with my tube and i didn't pick up another one when they did the relaunch so i'm really really sad i'm trying not to use it a lot but this is so gorgeous like in the summer this is gonna be freaking amazing that's what i'm trying to save it for it's probably not sanitary but i love it too much hi lindsay i have on flutter lashes intoxicating those are my favorite favorite lashes ever and they're really really for i think they're like 9.95 but i think i've reused these probably no less than 20 20 times honestly like I use them all the freaking time so so good this next one is from the Kathleen Lights collab with Colourpop and it is in Moonchild it's the gloss I have on right now I haven't tried that one I don't have like rosacea or anything but I do have sensitive skin so I might have to try that one sounds good so anyway, I'm just putting a little bit more on. This is the gloss I have on, and I didn't. I don't need more on the top. But this is the gloss. It's from again, it's Moonchild from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. It is so so pretty. It's just a perfect everyday kind of nude gloss. All I have underneath it is this Maybelline Color Stay lip liner, and it is in Nude Whisper. This is like my lips with better lip liner. It's my favorite. So that is all I have on my lips right now. So that lip liner and then the gloss is so freaking good just ordered that too <laughs> it is it's worth it though i promise it is so so good it's the most gorgeous everyday nude but perfect gloss it's not like heavy and sticky or tacky or weird it's just really soft and smooth it's just it's gorgeous i'm obsessed with it so pretty um okay liquid lips <laughs> now i'm gonna go on to a new favorite so these i found these like Mm, I'd say a month or two ago, but I picked these up from I think Walmart. The same, yeah, the same place I get the um, highlighting palette. But these are the Flower Beauty Liquid Lips. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of room. Look at this color. It is the most gorgeous, perfect every single day color. And these are not like super super crazy drying either. They're so soft, but they last a long time, and they fade really pretty too. So all lipsticks fade, we know that. But this one fades like perfect. It fades from like the, I don't know, it's just like, it's so pretty. Like it just looks like, like not like when you get like butthole lips from a really dry liquid lipstick, you know what I mean? Like that gross like inner rim stuff. This just fades all over the lips all at the same time and it is so freaking gorgeous. This is the red one right here that I wore for Christmas and this red is just perfect. It is the most perfect, perfect red and it's a liquid lip, it lasts all freaking day and these are just gorgeous, okay? These are so, so good. No, it's not discontinued. Um, I know a few like select Walmarts. I don't know like 
isn't carrying Flower Beauty anymore. I don't know why, but she always has sales on her website for like 15, even 30% off sometimes. So if you can't find it at a Walmart, you have to have this highlighting palette. I promise you, you will love it. But even these liquid lips, these are definitely, definitely a must have. They're so pretty and so good. Ah! Whoops. <laughs> oh yeah, we're real professional today, aren't we? Okay, are we good? I think we're good. <laughs> This is why I was so nervous, you guys. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, Makeup Geek Cream Stops. Stoppers. Cream? No. Cream Stains. Good Lord. Okay, so these are the Makeup Geek Cream Stains, and they are absolutely stunning, gorgeous, beautiful perfection. I absolutely love them. So this one is in Quick Step. This is a more, I don't know, it's just like the perfect everyday kind of more like taupey nude. It's just gorgeous. I love this with like a really pretty like blown out smoky eye. It's just so, so pretty. So again, it's the Quick Step Cream Stain from Makeup Geek. God, I cannot say that. <laughs> I feel like Makeup Geek is so underrated. I don't think anybody talks about her anymore. Marlena from Makeup Geek. But her stuff is such good quality. And no, she's not like really like drugstore pricing. Thank you, Lindsay. I'm trying out the new one. I have a review coming soon. It is the Maybelline Superstay. I will say, look at this color though, you guys. Like, it is not my shade at all. <laughs> but that's okay. That's what the wear test is for, right? Okay. So these are her iconic lipsticks, and this one is in Shy. This is probably the main one. Oh my God, I have swatches all the way down my arm. This is probably the main one that I wear. It's like a really deeper, more mauve nude. But oh my goodness, these are the softest, most gorgeous lipsticks that last such a long time. And she has a few different finishes, but this one is just stunning. Shy is a must have for Makeup Geek. I always have all of her stuff linked down below. There are affiliate links, you don't have to use my link if you don't want to, you can always just search Makeup Geek because you have to have her eyeshadows and then her iconic lipsticks because they are that good. Yay, thank you. I was so nervous to do the live, I keep saying that, but I was. I was like, I sat here for a good 10 minutes and I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to or not, but we're doing it, so it happened. <laughs> okay. Last regular lipstick is going to be from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their matte liquid er, lipstick. I don't do a lot of Instagram lives. Maybe I should. Is that easier than YouTube? Maybe. But this is in Spice, and it's, of course, the matte lipstick. This is absolutely stunning. These are so crazy, crazy pigmented. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yay. I know, I love being able to like talk to you guys real time, not always have to like go back. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> every time someone says you're doing great, sweetie, all I think of is that meme that goes around like every day. But again, this lipstick is absolutely stunning. I have, I think seven or eight of these. They're just all so, so gorgeous. This is a really like crazy deeper, deeper, deeper nude. It is just so, so pretty. But they are crazy pigmented. They last such a long time. And again, they fade so, so pretty. It's not like that weird inner rim kind of fade, but it's just like your entire lip fades at the same time. It's just gorgeous. Okay, I have a few things left. These are the Be Hue Liquid Lipsticks. Now, the Taylor or Taylor here on YouTube did a collab with them for $15.48. Now, this is the red I always get asked about if I post it on Instagram or something. It's not there anymore, so I feel bad bringing it up but it is the 1548, it is a really deep, deep like burgundy red. It is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I get that all the time now and I hate my laugh. Oh, I don't know, it's just, I guess it's hearing yourself. I get that question, like not question, I get that really sweet comment all the time that everyone loves my laugh, but it's like, oh, <laughs> I think it's cause like hearing yourself laugh. Thank y'all, y'all are so sweet, okay. Now this one is the Natural Nude. This is the one that I wear all the freaking time because it is just perfect. It is just the most gorgeous, gorgeous everyday nude. It's really similar to this color, isn't it? <laughs> but it is absolutely stunning. And this formula too, it's a little bit more on the drying side, but it is so, so good. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry you guys, I am really nervous, okay. This next one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Their liquid lipsticks are freaking amazing, but this one is in stripped. Of course, okay, y'all can obviously tell the trend. It's either a nude or a red, right? Okay, so this one is in stripped, and it is the most perfect everyday color, especially if you have fair skin. 
but it is just absolutely stunning. I just, I love, love, love liquid lipsticks and the ones from Anastasia Beverly Hills are so, so good. Always a favorite of mine. I have so many. Ooh, it's kind of scary, <laughs> but it is so, so good. Now one from the drugstore. These are so freaking amazing. It's the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. These are the liquid lipsticks and these are freaking gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I'm really running out of room now. This is a little bit deeper of a color, but these are, ah, balls. <laughs> oh, I just got that everywhere. Okay, you're done, bye. But the color itself is absolutely stunning and it is so, so pretty. This formula is absolutely amazing. It lasts such a long time. It fades really pretty and it's not like that really super, super dry like liquid lipstick. It's just gorgeous. But this color, ooh, so, so, so pretty. Okay. Is that all we have to talk about? Is that it? Yeah, bye to that lipstick. It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and it got everywhere. Oh, the color's really pretty though, right? Such a gorgeous color. Okay. Oh, I do have one thing. To, oh my God, I have one thing left. I'm from Keller, Texas, and then I moved to Chicago for three and a half years. And then I moved back to, I actually moved to Amarillo like two years ago. So no, I don't, when I'm around my family, it comes out a lot more. But yeah, I don't really have a thick accent like I used to when I was little. I don't know, I guess it just kind of faded. That's sad, isn't it? <laughs> but okay, last thing I want to talk about because we're already at almost, oh my God, 36 minutes. Woo! Thank y'all for staying around and <laughs> sticking with me. <laughs> but this is the Estila Magnificent Metal, but this one is in Rose Gold Retro. So I know everyone talks about that kitten, Karma Kitten, whatever it is. But this one, oh my goodness, are y'all ready? Where can I put this? I'm going to put it on my arm or my hand. Look at this color. It is so freaking gorgeous. Of course, the glitter probably isn't going to pick up on camera because I'm on my phone right now. It's kind of shitty. But this color right here, can you see that? Like, oh my goodness. It is so, so gorgeous. I can't say enough good things about these. I have a few other ones behind me as well. But they are just absolutely stunning. And they last such a long time. And they don't like it weird or flaky. The moon... Okay, good. <laughs> I'm hoping the quality is okay. I know it looks kind of blurry on camera. I don't know. I'm hoping it's okay. But these are absolutely freaking stunning. I just, I do a lot of looks with these because they're so easy. I mean, if you want to do a cut crease or a halo eye, you literally just need to use the wand itself because it's just like, I don't know, they're so easy to use and they have like such a precise little wand, but they're also soft and they don't dry down like too quick but they do dry down quick enough. You know what I mean? Like they don't like transfer really easy. They are just absolutely gorgeous in this color. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, hey, it matches my nail. <laughs> All right, guys. I think that is, I think that's everything. <laughs> I think so. I don't know. Can I think of anything else? I think that's all I got. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end that here. I need to go like wash off this arm because it's absolutely crazy. And I'm gonna get it all over my favorite hoodie. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the live. I probably will post it on IG. I'm using my phone this time, so I don't really have something to post it on. But yeah, hopefully I will get more people on next time if I'm like, you know, spread the news at what time and everything. This is kind of like a, oopsie, it didn't happen yesterday. I should do skincare next. Thank you. Thank you guys. Y'all are amazing. I love you guys. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be back probably with another live soon, maybe, hopefully, if y'all end up liking it. So let me know, like, leave a comment down below, though, if you come in later and leave, like, a hashtag replay or to let me know that you're watching the replay or something. I just know who actually sees it after. That'd be awesome. Yay. That's awesome. Okay. Good news. Good news. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to go. Bye. How do I end it though? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Bye you guys. I think I'm ending it, right? I don't know.